Hey beekeepers, this is Andrew with Man Lake and uh, this is going to be our August edition of the Beekeepers Buzz in the Southeast. A couple things uh, that we're going to do here today. On these two hives, being that they're on the newer side, they were started um, mid-spring into the later part of the spring, uh, we're going to do a mite check on them right now and ensure that our mites are where we want them to be at and if not, we're gonna to have to put a treatment in to make sure that these hives are good to go for the next several months. Especially in the Southeast, keep in mind, we do have almost a much longer year of beekeeping. So we do have to be more diligent in our mite checks and being on top of it. Um, once a year is just not gonna cut it in today's world of beekeeping. So let's get in. We're gonna do an alcohol wash. Um, and unfortunately, we are going to have to uh, kill a couple of the bees from the wash that we do, but it's important that we don't get caught up on the individual bees and that we look at this as a singular organism. If we were at a doctor's office and they asked us to do a biopsy, we would happily do it to find out what's going on. And that's really what we're doing here with an alcohol wash. And so. I prefer using the easy check. I think it's great. And we're gonna put some of our rubbing alcohol in here just so we have a little bit ready to go for when we do our shake. That's plenty, we don't need much. So we're just gonna gently work the back corner of this hive first. Careful when we're taking it off. We don't want our do any unnecessary damage to the hive that we don't need to do. So first, when we're looking for our frame, we do want to do our best to get within that brood nest. And we do want to make sure that our queen is not on the frame that we are combing up for the mite check or else we're going to end up with the queenless colony. We're going to gently remove this frame Okay, as you can see here. And I've been doing this for a while, so I'll be able to get a pretty good view here to see and make sure that our queen is not on this frame. And she is not. So we are going to start that process of combing the bees into our easy check. Now, I hold the frame by the end bar. <laughs> So I can comb them right up. And these bees gently, I'm not damaging the comb. And we're gonna just continue to get as many of them in as we can. I've already checked. I've made sure I know our queen is not on this frame. So we're good. And if I don't get enough bees on this, I might even go to a different frame. And you see very gently, we place that frame back in. Want to make sure we're not harming any bees. Work a new frame. Make sure that the queen is not on it. And again, we're limited in the types of treatments that we can use right now because it's so hot. Certain products like formic acid uh, wouldn't be available for us or very conducive for us to be using right now because the temperatures are just too hot. So that's good. We've got about a couple of bees. Gently put that frame back in. So now we're going to shake. 
get an idea to see what our mic count is at. And right now, come up to the camera. You can see that we do. We have some mites coming off of the bees that we can see here. And the reason I like the alcohol wash is because it actually separates that mite from the bee. Uh, it gives you a very accurate reading. So we know we've got, we've got mites and the chances are that we've also got some mites right here. Now, out of 300 bees, we've got about four, four to five. So we're not, our mites would not be considered very high right now. Um, we'd be averaging about one and a half per hundred. But keep in mind, if we come into a fall flow, these mites are just gonna continue to get bigger. And then as we come into another season of our queen uh, producing brood, we're gonna get even more mites. So it's important that we get on top of them now. So uh, being that we are in Florida for this video and it is hot, I prefer in the summer times to use a medication like Apivar. Uh, Apivar is a chemical. We do not want it in our hive with honey supers. It's an Amitrez based product. It comes in a four pack and a 12 pack and a 60 pack. It's a 45 day treatment, it's a contact medication. And so what that means is that these bees, much like a flea collar, will walk across this strip and pass the Amitrez treatment onto other bees. What this actually does is it paralyzes the mite and that way the mite is not able to feed, therefore the mite cannot reproduce. Due to the fact that this, this strip will be in the hive for about 45 days, we're gonna get two complete brood cycles and really get a good grip on uh, reducing the mite counts here. Now, Apivar does have a triangular strip that's designed to hang on the frame. I choose not to use it because in the past, I've seen this strip pop up and fall down onto the bottom board. If it falls onto the bottom board, it's essentially a waste of money. Your bees are gonna walk around it and you're gonna have half of it's not even exposed. So I use toothpicks or a paper clip. And you can go right through. There's a hole right at the top. And then what we're gonna be able to do is place this right into our brood nest. When you're using Apivar, you wanna have two strips for one strip for every five frames. We've got 10 in here. We're in a single, we're gonna use two strips and I'm putting them directly into that brood nest. And I know that's where we're gonna get the most activity. And so you can see how they're set in right here. There is no risk of them falling due to the paper clip or the toothpick running across the top bar. And while we're in this hive, because we know it's dirty, I'm gonna give them half of a patty. Now. You gotta be careful when we're feeding patties anywhere in the Southeast because we don't wanna make it a hotbed for beetles. In the Southeast, the ground really doesn't freeze. So we never have a complete die off of our hive beetles because they're in the ground. So it is a battle that we have to deal with every single year. So I don't wanna make it harder for the bees to be successful. However, they still need pollen. They still need some sort of a supplement and you can still feed them a patty in the southeast. I just do it a little differently. Instead of feeding a traditional patty that is big and rectangular in size, I'm gonna cut this patty into a half and then I'm gonna take that half and break it into four smaller pieces. What this is gonna do is it's going to eliminate that surface area and allow only a little area for those hive beetles to get into. By that point, this piece of the patty should already be consumed. The patty that I'm using is got 5% natural pollen and our rocket fuel, the Apis Biologics mixed into it. So this would be, this is a premier patty. 
We want to make sure that we're giving our bees the best nutrients that we can give them. And I'm going to gently place this right on top because I don't want to harm any bees in the process of putting the patty on. Everything we've wanted to do in this hive is now done. We've checked for our mites. We, knew, we know we've confirmed that we have them. We put a treatment in. This treatment will be out of the hive right before, uh, about two, two and a half weeks before our fall flow in the southeast. So I'm good there. And I've also given them a direct feed in a very dearthy time where pollen um, is, is very limited. And now we're just gonna gently put this honey super back on. We wanna make sure that we do our best not to harm any bees and brush them off so they can get back in. And then close the lid. And that is it. Click the like button, click the subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for more content as we try to help everyone become better beekeepers.